Hey Christ Church, Pastor Morris here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, last week I read an interesting story about a man by the name of Sachiro Honda. Uh, Sachiro was born in 1906 and he grew up helping his father repair bicycles in the Japanese village where he lived. He was fortunate enough to uh, be accepted to engineering school and while he was in school he decided to start a workshop with the intention of developing a piston ring that he hoped to sell to the Toyota Corporation. Now Sachiro worked day and night to produce what he believed was the perfect design for this piston. He often had to sleep in his workshop and endure incredible financial hardship. Well, when he finally completed his design, he, he took it to the Toyota Corporation. Sadly, however, he was told that his work was not up to their standards. Now, he was incredibly disappointed by this, and yet he believed strongly in his idea. He refused to give up. He kept persevering. Even amidst the ridicule of his fellow engineering students and teachers alike, he toiled for another two years before he finally won a contract with Toyota. By this time, however, another difficult thing happened. Japan was gearing up for war, and Sochiro found it increasingly difficult to find building materials for the factory he needed to manufacture his piston rings. And yet again, he persevered. He found new ways to make concrete and finished building the factory. Sadly, however, during World War II, his factory was bombed twice, and steel became unavailable. Now, by this time, most people would have quit, but Sochero stayed focused on his dream, and he found a way around the steel problem. He started collecting gasoline cans discarded by U.S. fighters to help regenerate his factory. As he started building, however, another setback happened. An earthquake destroyed his factory completely. Now, this setback would have been the final nail in the coffin for most people, but Sachiro was in no mood to throw in the towel. He forged ahead. After the war, he decided to take a new turn and, and try something different. He found a way of attaching a small engine onto his bicycle. He found that people were really fascinated by this idea. By this time, however, he had no financial means to fund any kind of mass production. Instead of giving up, however... He wrote to 18,000 bicycle shop owners and asked them to make a small investment in his idea. With the numerous investments that he received, and after several redesigns, Sachira finally came up with what he called the Super Cub, which went on to become an overnight success. By 1963, Honda was the top-selling motorcycle brand in the United States. And then in the 1970s, Sachira decided to move the company into the car business providing cars that were not only fuel-efficient, but incredibly reliable. As we all know, in the 2000s, Honda also moved into the aerospace business with the introduction of Honda Jet. And the Honda Corporation, started by Sachiro Honda, a man who was incredibly willing to persevere through difficult times, now employs over 200,000 people worldwide. You know, as I think about the story of Sachiro Honda, I think about the story of the Apostle Paul, a man who also experienced an incredible amount of adversity in his life. And yet in his second letter to the church at Corinth, Paul writes these words, Though we're afflicted in every way, we're not crushed. Though we're perplexed, we're not driven to despair. Though we're persecuted, we're not forsaken. Though we're struck down, we're not destroyed. As you know, we continue to be in the midst of very difficult times in our country and in our world, with the COVID-19 pandemic still raging, with social unrest happening all over the country, with many of us fighting to seek rec racial reconciliation and justice for all. And sometimes it feels like we can't keep going, like we can't push on anymore. And yet the story of Sochira Honda and the story of St. Paul remind us that we must persevere. For when we persevere, when we remember that nothing can break us forever because we have a God who is for us and who is with us, we know that one day good things will happen. I hope the story of Sochira Honda and the words of St. Paul will encourage you this week. Whatever hardships you may be facing, may you persevere and know that God is right there with you, working for you, and one day good things will emerge. Let's pray together. Gracious Lord, we give you thanks for the story of Sochiro Honda. We give you thanks for the word and witness of St. Paul. 
As we continue to deal with these challenging times, we pray that you would enable us to persevere, that we might know that you are with us, that you are for us, and that one day good things will happen. We entrust ourselves now to your tender and gracious care in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Thanks for listening and hope you have a great week.